Hello everyone, in our previous video we have designed a simple SSRS report. So now we're going to modify it to accept a parameter so that we can filter it by card number. Okay, so we are going to use the same report that we used last time. So, but this time I uh, save it as test report 2. So, but here we will add a parameter which is a card number. Okay, so we put it allow blank, allow na. So, we put it hidden so it will not be prompt. So, when we call our report. Okay, so on our data set, we need to modify it so that we will filter it by card number. So here, where card now, see if to add card number or add card number is not. Okay, so here we will check if the we entered something on the card number. So we will check if there's an existing record with that card number. So if the card number is also null, so we will just show everything on our table. Okay, so on our parameter, so we need to add this it automatically add the card number that we added in our query which is this one so we will add the parameter value to the card number parameter which is this one okay so don't be confused with that one okay so we need to check if parameter is equals to So this one should be double code. Else, we uh, will return the value of the card number parameter. Okay, so click OK. Click OK. So this one for the parameter, let's just make it to visible. And click OK. And then let's try to run the report to test it first. Okay, so it's working. So let's try to filter it by 00517600. Zero, 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 sorry, not 6000. View report. So as you can see, it was filtered by our uh, parameter. So let's put it back to hidden. Okay, so let's don't forget to save it. Okay, so now we will modify the sp.net mbc project that we have created before. So, so here I just modified the home page to create a form that will accept uh, one that has one input box which is the card number and a submit button. So it will be submitted to the reports controller and then we will add this action which is per card number so let's go to our reports controller okay okay so let's just copy this one and then make it card number oh sorry this one so this is the action then it should accept a variable card number and then this one should be Post. HTT post. Okay, so on this one, the report that will be two. Okay, next one. Since the card number can be null, so we will check if card number is not equal to null. Not equal to null, so we will create a report parameter. Param is equal to new report 
par parameter. Para that name is equals to card number. Okay, so which is this one, the card number, and then para that values point add. Then you will add the value card number here. Okay, and then after that we will add it on our report viewer which is viewer server report set parameters and then let's put the parang value here okay so let's try to run our project okay so now let's try an empty card number first submit Oh, the view card number is uh, okay so because we created an action but this view is not existing under reports so we wanted to reuse the index view so we'll just change this to as a parameter index okay try to run again close this okay submit Okay, it's loading. Card number parameter is missing. Card number parameter is missing. Okay. So we have here parameter. A few moments later. So here we just need to modify the program. We did no need to check the card number is null, so it should always pass the card number parameter here. So let's try again. Submit. Now it is loading our report. So now let's try to filter it. My card number. So, but the card number is still not. So I think we missed something here. I think, ah, I think we need to put name here. Card number. Okay. Let's try again. Load the page. Submit. Try. Okay. So now it's passing the correct value from our text box. Okay. So now, as you can see, our filtering is working correctly. So this is the code that we use so we just need uh, if we have multiple parameters so we just need to add multiple like this okay so depending on the filtering that you want to do on our on your report so you just need to add multiple parameter and modify the data set that you have here okay that's all for this video hope you learned something and hope you like share and subscribe to this channel thank you very much bye